Hello, hello, welcome back to the Scrying Mirror. And today I'm going to show you how to do a Samhain Ritual Oil. And you're going to need a... Let me get this out real quick. You're going to need one of these oil bottles. Which way you can kind of squirt it out. If you don't have one of these, you can use um, another one but you kind of want to get one that you can squeeze out of because there will be oils in it. But if that's all you have, use what you've got. Um, Samhain ritual oil is used for uh, anointing candles for Samhain or the Day of the Dead or for your ancestors. Um, so it all, all the ingredients depend on your ancestors and spirits and what they like and what um, the past what it has been used for the ritual so um, I'm gonna start by always always getting this ready and getting your this smudge so we're gonna use dragon's blood you can use dragon's blood sage because um, sage does go in this and I'll show you all the ingredients that you'll need as we go along so that you can just do a playback of it but you want to smudge around here on the inside on the outside clockwise you can also do these for um, just around your ritual tools you can put that on there around your candles anything that you want to use your books you just want to put some on your hands as you're doing the ritual um, that's totally fine too but before we do this make for sure that all your herbs that you're about to use any crystals or anything like that are um, blessed already and you have blessed them with your intentions and I'll show you how to do that as well but I only have 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side so this don't break because it's glass and then the first thing we have here are bay leaves. I wrote ancestors on one and spirits on the other. You can break these up if you want because remember you're going to have a dropper. So you don't want stuff to stop up in your dropper. So we can get as much as we can in there. We have to rip it up a little bit and get it in there to shove it in there because this one's going to be like a little small hole to get it through. And then you can use something to get it in there if you want. Some of these, if you don't have them, use what you have. Um, my marshmallow root and my dandelion root that I really wanted to put in here. It is something that you need to put in here. It's still where I'm still unpacking. I couldn't find it. So um, that was another thing that I couldn't put in here. But like I said, you can substitute for a lot of things. So like if you don't have a black candle, what is the substitution? Always, I always said is a white candle. So you can use that as well. And put the rest over here because you only need a little bit because we're going to have a lot to put in here. The next is sage. Sage is a very, sage has been used for years by Native Americans, uh, by several indigenous people and tribes. So this is something like the tobacco that we're going to put in here that's something that's always going to be put into a Samhain ritual oil and then you're going to put and you don't have to put a lot in there just guess what you think needs to be put in there um, here is the tobacco so it's like loose tobacco or if that's all you have is like a cigarette you can kind of roll the cigarette around to get the that to come out and then you're going to try your best to get it in here. If you don't, that's what this is for. So you're good. And then. Oh, I was going to show you how to bless your um, stuff. So when you get like your rosemary, you want to put it. You'll need rosemary. So I'm going to show you rosemary on this one. And hold on one second. Um. 
gonna snap the black one out for a second because it's doing a big glare on this video. We'll turn it back on in just a minute, but it's just like a big, big glare. I'm afraid you can't see much of anything. There you go. All right, so you're gonna put some rosemary in your hand like this. Oh, I thought I had a stop on it. And you're gonna put. I want this rosemary to be used for my uh, some of my so <laughs> Samhain ritual oil. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then you want to hold it in your hand for a few minutes or for a few seconds, and then put it in there. That way, you know your herbs know what they're going to be used for. So, and usually I put more in here, but I'm trying to hurry up to show you the video, and we're already six minutes in. So I want to try to hurry up. Lavender flower is what you'll need next. And like I said, if it misses the bottle, you can always clean it up and save some of it for later. So next will be yarrow. Yarrow is a big, big one because yarrow is in graveyards. So it's something that I always pick out of the graveyards. And um, it's like rose mallow. They were used, it's associated with death. So I'll put that in there. And that's yarrow flower, or you can use yarrow root, whichever. The next will be mugwort. I forge myself so you can see. It's right here. I forge myself. You can see all the leaves here. And then we're going to do. God, I'm trying to hurry up with it because I know that I'm going to run out of time and I cannot do a second part. The next would be Calendula. You just want to put a few pieces in there. I'm going to try to show it in there as much as you can, the calendula, because this is, like I said, a smaller. You want to use graveyard dirt, Himalayan sea salt, pink, or you can use regular, it doesn't matter. But you want to put a few in there. The reason for the dirt, the graveyard dirt, obviously, you can tell it's for the Day of the Dead, for Samhain. Ritual, so it's for your ancestors. So that's something that obviously you're gonna put in there. Also, you're gonna put in orange peel. You may have to break it up to put it in there, but like I said, as much as you can. Orange peel is kind of more the season as well, so oranges go well with the the spirit of the Samhain tradition. Pine cone, and I'm trying to get that in there now too. So there's two pine cones in there. Bone of any sort. If you have any bones laying around, snap them to fit if the if it works. That's for the dead. Cinnamon sticks because cinnamon powder will, like I said, the dropper will not be really good to work with. So. Elder herb. It's going to sound look like that. Amethyst, if it'll fit. Sorry, I keep hitting this because it's got to get close to it. Selenite. You're going to put a few selenite things in. Selenite is for spiritual ancestors, angels. Uh, it's specifically for the dead and higher power, higher realm. Rosebud, if it'll fit. Squish it in there as much as you can. And we're going to do one more. One more rosebud. You might just squish it in there. You're going to do a few drops of patchouli in here. And you're always going to put in your dry herbs first, then your other oils, and then your carrier oil after you're done. So make for sure to do it that way. Olive oil to pour in. And there you go. Shake it up.